Um, hello everyone. As promised, this is the video that I'm going to do for the benefits of some um, that who are okay who need special um, a, a detailed explanation for that. Uh, here I am not uh, to the extent of saying that I'm all for modder or I'm all for table or anything like that because it's really sometimes uh, even I think that MOE. Did not uh, say that uh, they are. There's a one size fits all strategy. You see, even though they talk about the the model approach can only be used to solve certain topics and problems, and should not be seen as a one size fits all solution to all math problems. So with that, I hope that um, you, you you don't feel bad that or if you can't solve this with the model or anything of that uh, sort. So um, yeah. So you can still continue to ask me questions, even though this is not live anymore, uh, because now this is the time that I can only go live. Uh, yeah. So now I see that there are people watching with together with me all <laughs> together at this moment. So now let's take a look at uh, this question. So can I say that uh, this is um, okay? Like what I wanted to say is that. Uh, it's not about whether should I go for model, whether should I go for table or anything. Do what deems best for your child, okay? Because some students can see it without any pictorial form, some can't. You understand? So I, I, I don't claim to have a one-size-fits-all strategy, but I would say that I have a framework that will help you to systematically to organize your information and to get your answer. All right, so let's let's uh take this here. Okay, Mrs. Chu had some red, blue, and green buttons, and this is from Stella. This question, so she used one fifth of the red buttons for a dress and one sixth of the remaining red buttons for a red blouse. She then had three hundred fifty buttons altogether, right? Uh, two fifth of the red buttons left was equals to one quarter of the blue buttons. The ratio of the red buttons left to the number of green buttons was ten is to nine. So how many red buttons did she have at first? Wow, you know that this question um, actually tests you on your fundamentals. No, not know whether you want to draw model or you want to draw table. Yeah, that's why you see that before we even begin that question or the, that debate whether to use model to present our solution or to use table, it's more like do the student understand that all this fraction that they are talking about refer to the different number of marbles, okay? Uh, <laughs> marbles, buttons, so sorry. Okay, they refer to different number of buttons. And because of that, we cannot add up these fractions. Okay, so this is the fundamental. That a student needs to know and do your child or uh, do your children know that so uh that is very important so now let's highlight uh the keywords here okay so uh that will serve as some uh help but try not to you know highlight everything until like oh it's so colorful at times i find that it's pretty distracting okay so this is one fifth of the red pattern what does it mean it means that it refers to the total number of red buttons so how many buttons uh, sorry how many parts must I split the total number of buttons into as this question say is five so that okay I have pre-drawn uh, the tape uh, the model so this is the total rate okay this is the total rate and you see that this question is actually uh, talk about before change after question and at the same time we talk about the comparison although the change only occur to the red buttons. Clear? So now, this refers to the total and uh, used up this for the dress. So any point in time uh, you have any questions, do feel free to let me know. Uh, you can just give me the comments. Oh, okay, I see that there are some comments. All right, so uh, let me see. I'm <laughs> trying to figure out. So at this stage, any, 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 any questions? Uh, Okay. Uh, can't see the comments, sorry. All right, so let's move on. And then what is left here must be the remaining that they are talking about. 
So you read this question like what you would read as a story. Everything must be in um, so-called remaining oh my in sequence. Okay, so that will become your remaining. But let's take a look at the next fraction here. So highlight with a different color. So now that we know that they are all referring to different number of red buttons. And for that, you cannot add one fifth to one sixth. Full stop. So this is the fundamental that you need to know or that your child needs to know. So one sixth of the remaining. But in this case, what were we told of? The remaining was by right only five or uh, only four parts. So how do I reconcile these two things now? Okay, so because in the second instance, the remaining was made to split into six parts. Okay, so the thing is now, this two, as you can see, these two are referring to the same remaining. Okay, this portion here and that portion here are both referring to the remaining. So what do I do? I make use of the, I continue to cut it, right? So there's another way of course, instead of cutting, we can just uh, write down the numbers. Uh, four and six. Lowest common multiple is 12. So let's represent the remaining with 12, okay? So if this remaining is 12, so meaning to say that each block, I must multiply by three. So each block becomes three U here, three U here, three U here, right? And that here must be six. So six times two is 12. Okay, and that we were told that this portion here was used on the blouse. And what is then left must be the left left la. <laughs> like what they talk about uh, you know two fifth of the red buttons left. So you see that they are constantly referring to different numbers. You see that? So go back to the highlighter here. So this is two fifth of the red buttons left. You see this word is very important because if you miss out on this word left, the whole question is wrong because you misunderstood that this two fifth refers to the total. That is why in math it is in a way quite punishing in the sense that you have to make sure that you read every word okay, correctly, never to miss out on any. So you constantly have to go back to the question to make sure that you are or you have mis you, you have interpreted the question correctly. So let's move on. Now, here is where the comparison. So you can see that how many notes were left in, in, in the end. So now I can begin to fill in this table here. All right. So we know that at first it started off with how many? Um, one, two, three times five. So 15 units here. So you can see the 15 units. And in total, we know that it's spent. But actually, we're not interested in the change because just now, if you have remember the question, we want to know the red button at first. Okay, so that is where I need to find the 15 units. So the, oh no, this is 10 units. Okay, so now what does this um, two fifth of the red buttons left was equal to one quarter of the blue buttons? I believe that uh, some of you may be familiar with that, as in uh, we were told many times that make the numerator the same. So again, always ask yourself or ask your child if they know what does this mean. Do they mean that they have the same number of red and uh, blue buttons as total? Uh, do they mean that they're the same? No, they are just comparing, just take out a certain number and compare and say, oh yeah, this certain number that is used for comparison happens to be two fifth of the red and one quarter of the uh, blue. So far okay? So any comments? Uh, swipe left. Nice table. <laughs> okay, thanks. So anything, uh, just let me know. So here, uh, okay, now, again, I already drawn out this 
<laughs> table here. So let's compare the, let me use another color, the green maybe. Okay, so now, which is the two-fifth that they're talking about? The two-fifth is this one, all right, left. So we're concentrating on this part here. So one, two, three, four, five, eh? It happens to be two-fifth as well. But remember, we had already split it into 10. All right, so this is the, so I'm going to apportion this. This is the two-fifth that we are talking about. Okay, so. Mm. So I'm lining it over here. So you can see that now, okay, <laughs> a bit misaligned, but uh, you, you get an idea. So now I'm trying to say that here, this two-fifth is actually equals to the one quarter of the blue. This two-fifth is actually equals to one quarter of the blue. And that, my, where is my cursor? Okay, and that, this is the blue. So here, how many units represent that? It's actually four units. Four units. So each block of the blue block represents four units. So four units, four units. So that is what people say that, oh, make the numerator the same. Okay, so two fifths of the rate, remember, of the rate, is equals to one quarter of the blue. As what I've shown to you just now, this is the part that I'm talking about. This is the two fifth, and this is the one quarter. I was trying very hard to stabilize my hand. It's not easy. If you think that using a stylus is easy. Okay, so here, um, as I said just now, this was already split into four. So you have to write four out of 10 of the rate. If not, the rest of the numbers would not uh, reconcile. That's why it becomes 4 out of 16. And of course, you do not need, uh, if let's say you understand from this statement that they are talking about a certain number of buttons that are used for comparison, you don't need to draw the model as what I've done. But if that helps your child in understanding this particular idea, go ahead. Okay? And then now, as I, as I explained earlier on, this is also talking about comparison. And which other colors are they comparing? The red, blue, and the green. Okay, so now we have that. Okay, let's continue to uh, read. So we have found out that the blue, okay, from the green highlighted statement, this is the 16. Oh, green. Hey, blue, blue. <laughs> Oh my, I'm writing a different color here. Okay, yeah, and then the last will be this. Okay, let's see if I change other colors. What color is nice? Mm, I don't know, purple. Okay, so let's change it. So the ratio of the red patterns left. Okay, you see? Now this is the word, huh? keyword is left. So left is 10 units uh, to the pattern of green patterns was 10 is to nine. 10 is to nine. So this is already 10 as in the blue, uh, the red is already 10, so the green must be nine units. So I don't have to change anything here. Okay, so we can just uh, safely fill it in with um, nine units. Okay, so in total, the N, so uh, the total number of buttons in the end is 10 plus 16 plus nine, which is 35 minutes. Okay, so 35 minutes. So how do I solve what is the value of one unit? So always look out for the question. You know, this is, in, in this case, it's pretty straightforward because there is only one piece of information where they show you the actual number, the absolute number, which is 350 buttons altogether. But uh, again, make sure that you read in context because that could actually refer to the number of buttons that she had at first. You see that? So in this case, um, actually, it is referring to the, uh, let's change another color again, so, so, okay. That is actually referring to the, she then had 250 buttons left. That means after the change in the rate. So it must be this, okay? So it must be this one. So with that, you can now set up an equation, which is 35U, Okay, equals to 
350. So one U is 10, yep. So you see, how many red buttons did she have at first? 15 U equals to 150. There you could solve your, 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 your question easily. So remember, it's not about whether I want to put it in the model or whether I have to use a table. The most important is the fundamental here. And that is not difficult uh, uh, to know, but you have to be very meticulous because you see this, uh, the remaining word and the left could make all the difference. You see that? Uh, with that, if there is any more comments, uh, just indicate yeah, to, in the comments, I will reply them. It doesn't have to be now. All right, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.